What's going on, Mud Truckers? Oh, welcome to Mud Trucker News. Email us at mudtruckernews at gmail.com. First thing first, just want to say to everybody, happy Thanksgiving for the ones that were able to get home to your family. That's such a blessing. I know your family's so excited to have you. For the ones that couldn't get home, you will get home soon. So I wish you guys safety. Uh, tomorrow, actually, Jenna, my wife, and I will be flying out to New Mexico, flying into Albuquerque, New Mexico, and then spending some time for Friday and Saturday with Sky City Travel Center. You know, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to give away some Mother Trucker merch and just have some fun. So if you're in Sky City Casino area, I'll put the address down below, which is on the I-40, uh, which is about an hour before you hit Albuquerque. Uh, we're going to be there for two days. So come on by and spend some time with us. You know, that would be really amazing to have you guys. Now let's get into today's video a podcast show. I've been getting a lot of links. A lot of people have been sending me links of this and wanted me to clarify a lot of things, right? For the people that don't know, the Biden administration, they have two lofty goals. One is to cut carbon pollution in half by 2030 and net zero emission by 2050 across America. You know, and that's heavy to ask, man, because, you know, if you haven't seen the brownouts, you haven't seen the blackouts, just charging these semi trucks is not easy to do. And there's another part of this that is hard is where the heck do you get the charges from and the infrastructure? That's going to take a lot of time, right? But I want to get into this rule and the government just announced this uh, just within the last 24 hours. It says Department of Transportation finalizes rule requiring states to track vehicle CO2. So just to set the record straight real quick, this is not a rule that mandates how low the targets must be in each state yet. Right now, they have to track it, but it is not a mandate. Now, according to the rule, each state may set targets that are appropriate for their communities and for their work, respective climate change and other policy priorities. As long as the targets aim to reduce emissions over time, it also does not impose penalties on a state for failing to meet its GHG targets, which we just talked about, right? Now, here's the thing. Every state now, by this rule, is they forced to track the CO2 that your uh, semi truck is uh, emitting. So a lot of people are against this. Texas is against this. A lot of states are against this. You know, my truckers, what are your thoughts about this? But the big one that I want to set the record straight and clear is that this is not a mandate that it needs to be at a low certain level at all. This is just saying they're going to track and force every department of transportation across America to start tracking the CO2 on semi trucks. But you know, uh, this is their goal right here. You know, no penalties as of yet, so nothing to be afraid of. But yeah, anytime there's a new rule or regulation, I will definitely share it. You know, I'll put links down below. There's links on a lot of websites. I like using uh, Freight Waves. They have uh, really good intel there. So my truckers comment down below. But yeah, that's the new rule that the administration uh, is forcing the Department of Transportation in each state to start tracking the CO2 that's emitting from your semi truck. And as long as they're doing something about it to try to lower the emissions, then I guess they're good to go. But yeah, you know, you can see the direction. What, what are your thoughts at the end of the day? Do we need a big change in movement? Is that what you're seeing? You know, comment down below. Would love to hear from you guys. Some people love the Biden administration. Some don't, right? And so uh, definitely only want to talk about the politics when it has to deal with semi-truck drivers and the transportation industry. So I appreciate you guys so much.